China's space program has just achieved a major milestone with the successful retrieval of the Shijian-19 reusable satellite. This satellite, launched on September 27, 2024, returned after two weeks in low Earth orbit. Its groundbreaking mission involved experiments in space breeding, technology validation, and international collaboration. What makes this achievement truly significant is the advancement of reusable satellite technology a game-changer for future space exploration. In this video, we'll explore what makes Shijian-19's mission special, how it was accomplished, and why it's so crucial for the future of space. Stay tuned as we delve into its technological advancements, scientific experiments, and China's broader ambitions in space exploration. The Shijian-19 mission was designed to test the next generation of reusable satellite technology, a key goal for China's space program. Launched on September 27, 2024, the satellite returned to Earth after two weeks in low Earth orbit, marking China's first successful use of a reusable satellite. The mission wasn't just a simple space flight, it carried out multiple scientific and technological experiments, including payloads for plant and microbial breeding, new technology validation, and autonomous control systems, what sets this mission apart is the focus on reusability. Unlike traditional satellites, which are often discarded after a single mission, Shijian-19 was built to be retrieved, refurbished, and relaunched. This breakthrough in reusability means future space missions will be far more cost-effective and sustainable, reducing the need to manufacture entirely new satellites for each mission. Reusability not only cuts costs, but also drastically reduces the environmental impact of space missions, aligning with the global push for more sustainable space exploration. The satellite's damage-free recovery system and high microgravity assurance were additional technological breakthroughs that ensured the safe return of scientific payloads without degradation, providing valuable insights into the effects of space environments on biological and technological materials. Moreover, China's long-term space ambitions are clearly reflected in the Shijian-19 mission. The satellite was designed with both short-term and long-term configurations, showcasing its flexibility. While this specific mission used the short-term version, capable of completing missions of up to two weeks, future iterations are designed to stay in orbit for much longer. This adaptability is crucial for enabling longer, more complex scientific experiments and advancing China's goals for deep space missions. The ability to switch between configurations highlights China's foresight in preparing for diverse mission needs, from low Earth orbit operations to more challenging environments like lunar or Martian exploration. In the bigger picture, these technological advancements pave the way for developing more sophisticated reusable space platforms. One of the standout features of the Shijian-19 mission was its role in fostering international collaboration in space exploration. This satellite wasn't just carrying Chinese payloads, it had onboard experiments from five other countries, including Thailand and Pakistan. This highlights China's increasing role in global space science, serving as a partner to other nations that want to utilize its rapidly advancing space infrastructure. Such international partnerships help boost global cooperation in space exploration and also allow smaller nations to engage in cutting-edge research by leveraging China's technological advancements. A major experiment conducted on Shijian-19 was space breeding, where plants and microorganisms are exposed to space conditions such as microgravity and cosmic radiation to induce genetic mutations that could help create more resilient crops. This is especially important for China, given its limited arable land. Improving crop yields through space breeding could have enormous implications for the country's food security and agriculture. The ability to adapt these methods for practical agricultural use would not only benefit China but could be a game changer for global food production, especially in regions prone to environmental stress. Additionally, Shijian-19 conducted crucial technology validation experiments. These included tests for autonomous control systems, which are critical for future space missions where spacecraft will need to navigate and operate without direct human control. The ability to autonomously perform complex tasks in space opens the door for more ambitious missions, such as deep space exploration or robotic missions to distant planets and moons. This mission was a proving ground for cutting-edge technology, 
enabling China to test the boundaries of space science while collaborating with international partners. Through these collaborative and scientific efforts, the Shijian 19 mission solidifies China's position as a leader in both space research and global space cooperation, while also setting the stage for future innovations that will benefit not only China but the international space community. The success of the Shiji-19 mission is more than just a technological achievement, it has far-reaching implications for China's space program and future space exploration. By proving the viability of reusable satellite technology, China has set the stage for a new era of space exploration that will be more sustainable and cost-efficient. Reusability is key to lowering the overall costs of space missions, which allows for more frequent and diverse missions. The reduced cost will enable China to allocate resources more effectively, not only for scientific research but also for commercial and private sector space projects. This technological leap also encourages global collaboration, as lower costs make space more accessible to other nations or private enterprises. The advancements achieved in the Shijian 19 mission could have military applications, as reusable satellites can be repurposed or redeployed for multiple missions, offering flexibility in both civilian and defense operations. This dual-purpose capability makes the development of such technologies critical for national security and further cements China's role as a major player in the global space industry. With these advancements, China is well on its way to becoming a dominant force in space technology development and international space cooperation. In the context of China's broader space ambitions, the Shijian 19 satellite is just one part of a larger puzzle. The China National Space Administration CNSA plans to deploy more reusable satellites and integrate this technology into future missions, including lunar exploration, asteroid mining, and other long-term projects. These innovations are laying the groundwork for sustainable space operations, positioning China as a leader in global space technology. Reusability plays a critical role in deep space exploration, where resupply missions and satellite maintenance become exponentially more challenging and expensive. The ability to recover and reuse satellites can dramatically extend the life of missions that operate far beyond Earth's orbit, significantly reducing the need for constant launches of new hardware. This is crucial for projects like the Tiangong Space Station and potential lunar or Mars missions, where regular maintenance and resupply are much more difficult and costly than for low Earth orbit operations. In this video, we have learned about the Shijian 19 reusable satellite mission, a landmark achievement in China's space program. We explored the satellite's mission objectives, its role in international collaboration, and the long-term implications for space exploration and sustainable space technology. We discussed how Shijian 19 is pushing the boundaries of reusable technology, fostering global partnerships, and paving the way for deeper space missions to the Moon and Mars. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you want to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.